Hey everyone, Rollbiz Jr. here, and today we're going to take a look at the latest update to Noboru, which is version 0.52. And unfortunately, I haven't kept up with all the different releases that Crack Reop has been working on on this amazing app, and it's one of my favorites because it's so minimalistic, it's super clean, and it just looks great overall. And if you're not familiar with what Noboru is, it's basically a manga slash comic book reader for your Vita, and it works great. And unfortunately, I'm on version 0.15, and I haven't really updated anything. And I really haven't had the time to actually go through all the different changes that this guy has been working on throughout the last few months. And he has added all sorts of different uh, languages, uh, minor changes here and there, optimization, um, a lot of different features that we can uh, go through here a little bit. So as you can see, I'm on version 0.15 and it's time to update. And it's just a wonderful app and it's one of my favorites. It works great. So uh, the best way to update this app is through your homebrew browser. So let's close this out and go to the homebrew browser. Here it is, the Vita Homebrew Browser. Perfect. And for those of you who haven't installed this application yet, I will have a link in the description down below for you. And that will take you to VitaDB. So here is our Vita Homebrew Browser. And Noboru is the third option down. And it was updated a few days ago. So we're just going to hit download. One of the best apps to have is the Vita Homebrew Browser. You can download all sorts of different apps and also update your current apps. And it's finally installing and finished. Perfect. So, I will show you guys where to download it from. Let me transition here a little bit. Go to our desktop. So here is VitaDB, Noboro version 0.52. And all you have to do basically is just download that VPK and install it through VitaShell. And this app will work for all uh, custom firmware versions, so no worries about like which version you have to be on, which is great. Now we can go back and check out this app here. Here's our Noboru, and we have a different wallpaper. Interesting. I prefer the old one, the first one. I'm glad I didn't change that part. Loading fonts, 5 out of 6, 6 out of 6. Alright, so it kept what I had saved so far. Here's our catalogs, our history, import, download, settings. In order for you to change your options here, you can either use the touch screen to tap into the different options. Or you can use your left and right trigger buttons which are the best way to do it. It's just more convenient. And let's check out our catalogs. Let's go into the first one here. And obviously you have to be connected uh, through internet in order for you to take a look at all these different um, books. And you can download them. That way you can read them offline. Very convenient. Looks like it is a little bit laggy here. No big deal. But yeah, all sorts of different languages. Which is nice. Let's go back and see. And you can use the D-pad to select your different catalogs here. And these are just websites that he basically uh, uses and just has his own interface bring in all of these uh, comics and manga into this very nice app. It makes it super convenient to download and to read. So let's choose one here. I want to press X. And we have the different chapters or the different books to download. 
and you can download by pressing a uh, square or just tapping onto the um, the book itself there you can see we're at 0% and it will start to download and you can do multiples if you wanted to and it will take some time obviously and at the very top right hand corner we have options to download all chapters remove all chapters cancel downloading chapters and clear bookmarks very good let's see add to library and let's start reading tale of fairy ice trail loading page Swiping through the pages is fairly easy. All you have to do is either use your touchscreen to swipe or use the left and right buttons, the trigger buttons. It is going to take some time to load just because I have all those uh, books downloading right now. And you can zoom in and out by pressing the, uh, let me continue here. Pressing triangle to zoom in and square to zoom out. Loading page. Sorry about that. So zooming in with triangle and zooming out with square. X doesn't really do anything for us and pressing circle will take you back. Pressing the select button will change the position of the uh, manga. So you can read it like this. It's going to be hard to pick up on the uh, camera here. You can read it like a normal, I don't know. You can read it like this. Oh crap, I pressed the wrong button. I was holding down the trigger. That is so cool, I like that. That's a very awesome feature. And you can zoom in. I'm zooming in here. Swish, swish. Where the hell am I? That is so cool. All right. And pressing start, let's see what that does. Nothing. You can also zoom in and out by using the right analog going up and down. Very good. And at our downloads, you'll see the current books downloading very good and import don't see anything there and our settings so we can change the theme to blue dark crimson pie crust one p crust one pie pie crust one light blue dark and crimson i like the crimson our library library sorting date added no refresh library at startup let's go back and our reader default reader orientation so you can have this defaulted either vertical or horizontal reader scaling smart left to right manga reading direction very good data settings clear library clear cache of non followed manga Clear all cache, clear save chapters, reset all settings. Network. Data settings. Let's go into other. Skip font loading, chapter sorting, don't show downloads, skip checking cache and chapter on loading screen. About program. Latest version 0 0.52. Developer, Crackery op. Thanks to translators, we have Spanish, Vietnamese, Italian, French, and Turkish. You guys are awesome. So that is basically it for this app, guys. It's a wonderful app. I love this one so much. Very clean. And one of the best apps to have on the PS Vita. So make sure to check this out. And if uh, Crack Ray Up does have a donation page or whatever, make sure to check out his profile and donate. 
because he's doing a wonderful job. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next one.